Good morning. Welcome to the American Cancer Society vlogging streak. 6.30 in the morning. We are out here getting my long run done. Well, 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 long time no see, friends. I am back for my, my 10 mile long run for the week. I don't know if Sarah has vlogged at all, but today is the first day we're vlogging for an ACS fundraiser. We, we were trying to think of unique ways, and I'm gonna explain it real quick in case you don't follow us on Instagram. But we have 10 days to fundraise for springtime surprise. Jamesy is loving the Magic Lights studio. Him and Teddy have been loving the Magic Lights studio cartoons like Gruffalo and Stickman. Uh, but we came up with a fundraising idea that since we haven't been vlogging and I will get so many different kinds of updates over the next 10 days We're gonna try not to do it all at one time um, But we have so much to share with you guys that we were gonna do a hundred dollar donations a day Like hundred dollars worth of donations in a day gets another day of vlogging of whatever we have in our life So we're, we're going for 10 days. We have 10 days to fundraise our springtime surprise which is a huge milestone because that means once we finish that, we will have fundraised every single Run Disney event in this Run Disney season. And I think we've already announced it prior to our like absence of vlogging, but we are downgrading like how much we fundraise the ACS. We're only going to do two events a year. We're going to do Chicago Marathon and Dopey. So this is kind of like the big hurrah for us in fundraising. It's been our biggest year of fundraising for ACS and it's been a lot of fun, a lot of work. But we are excited about this vlogging journey to bring us back and as Sarah said on Instagram, maybe we'll, this will inspire us to come back to vlogging or find a new groove with our busy life, even though in a couple weeks it's going to get even busy, busier with Charlie's arrival. So welcome to the uh, ACS fundraiser extravaganza vlogness. My favorite thing to do post 10 mile run is to drag a child around in a basket in a big old circle. It's like, the, it's like, uh, it's like it's, it's kind of doing post-run yoga. Okay, we do have fun outings planned today, but we had to do a little, a little housework, a little stuff at home before we left. Late last year, we ordered Crescent Lake Running Club shirts as a part of an ACS um, fundraising push, and everything has finally come together, figuring out shipping, all of that good, like, logistics of it and such and so today i am dropping them off at ups so everything is organized in their bags but now i just have to label them up and get them out if you aren't familiar with the shirts i'll put a little picture here um i designed this like in 2020 2021 we've been talking about it forever we did a small run with the fundraising push so if you're interested in a shirt or maybe we'll like switch up the style or the color or i don't know what we we always call crescent lake peter's home turf advantage during run disney weekends because usually one of the races will have you go by the boardwalk and yacht and beach club um so it's just a fun design feels very brookhart project um, but also like subtly Disney. So if you're interested, again, comment below. Maybe we'll do another run. All right. It was a sunny one when we parked, so we did the whole uh, hey, my dad uh, passed away from melanoma cancer, so we covered all of our inches of, of exposed skin and zinc right. <laughs> sunblock. So it's a little ghosty. <laughs> yeah, including our children. <laughs> but we have made it out. It's like what, one o'clock? Yeah. Something like that. We're hitting up Animal Kingdom because the every time that we get in the car for the past like 14 days, the boys would just start screaming animals, animals, animals. <laughs> so you know what? Today oh, they're getting animals. Animal. Yeah, and two of our friends. Britt and Jared, well, and their son. And right, three friends and their um, <laughs> shepherd. Are here at Animal Kingdom. They've been here since like early. Yeah. So we're gonna hopefully cross paths because we haven't seen them during their trip. Yes. Um, but we're gonna make sure we're, we have- See them for see a little them, bit. And we got time for them tomorrow animals. too. Yeah. And animals. Animals is the name of the game today. 
just some animal kingdom vibes, you know? So let's, let's see this bump. Oh yeah. The people haven't seen you in so long. That's Charlie. Yeah. Less than four weeks yesterday. I had 36 weeks so every Friday. That's that's like the marker and I have an appointment now every single week. I have a non-stress test every single week. It's an IVF pregnancy. And if uh, if my company's HR department is accurate, the, my company is manifesting early babies because like the last like six births in my company have all been early. We had two late babies, so right, we'll right. Those kind of look like dinosaurs a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna go see dinosaurs soon. We just want to check out the beautiful duckies. Or I'm sorry, black neck swans. Ooh, there's even more back there. They're all loving the water. Our first stop is the dino dig. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 So Teddy has yet to nap today. So I'm gonna stroll around with him, even if it's just for a little rest, while Peter and James go on Triceratops spin. And I think we're gonna figure out now, meet up with Bert and Jared. Right, there's some dino dig. Okay, this is Triceratops spin. Woohoo! Here she comes. Here she comes. There's Mama. Look at this way. Whoa! Hello! 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 Yeah. Hello. You think Mama heard you? I think so. All right, we're doing something wild because we're at Animal Kingdom. We're gonna, I'm gonna go on Dinosaur. Haven't been on that in probably, I don't even know when it was last time. Maybe over a year ago, maybe years. Teddy's snoozing and James is like taking a rest in the stroller. And we're waiting for our friends who are waiting for their lightning lane. And it says it's 10 minutes and there's all these rumors around all the permitting that's getting approved for this park and people suspect that this ride will go away or get rethemed. So, you know, I don't always try to go on rides at Sarah Camp or the boys camp um, because they're too short or she's pregnant. But she was like, hey, you should take an opportunity. So I was like, yeah, maybe I will. A time roller, an amazing vehicle that will literally transport you to the age of the dinosaurs. How? That's proprietary. Hello there. We heard a wild animal on the way to Pandora. And we had to circle back and show at least the baby that's awake. <laughs> you see Kevin? Say hi, Kevin. Doing a little ice cream break. We got some lemon lemon ices for the boys. Sarah got a twisted cone. I got a, a cone of beer. Brick got a twisted as well. I love these ears. I've been obsessed with them since I saw them. For the first time. I'll, I'll put all of Brick's shop. I need those for me. Look at the beautiful sun. All right, Britt and Jared have conv convinced the Brookharts to stay a little longer because the park closes in an hour. So all the kids are gonna go play in the dino dig for the last hour of the day and get all the wiggles on. Hopefully fall asleep on the way home. All right, checking out the American Crocodile. 
You see the crocodile, James? It's it's officially closed. The park's closed. We gotta get go find our friends and our brother and our mom. No, I just like crying for dinner. We pooped your life. Exhausted. Such a fun time. Yeah. Let's go to sleep. When's the last time we've closed out a park? I mean, a very long time. But I mean, Animal Kingdom closes at seven. Hey, it's closed. You cannot go in Animal Kingdom, so we close the park. Out. <laughs> That's true. Portillo's on 192. Questionable. It's why is it questionable? Because it's not Chicago. <laughs> but it tastes pretty it darn good. Like, yeah. It smells like it smells like the, the <laughs> White Sox Park right now. And I got their spicy chicken sandwich, which I've never tried before. And then we also got Peter with the music. <laughs> we got cheese fries too. And um, nothing's changed. We're always conflicted about living here in Chicago. <laughs> we did sign a two year lease. That is true. But we'll also, I mean, I will have gone a full year. I could walk to Chicago right now. That's how bad I want to go. <laughs> I just get out of the car right now and start walking north. We are home. We are tired. Um, long, longer day for us. And yeah, we haven't, like, I think I mentioned it earlier, sleep hasn't been great in our house. Um, but yeah, we are looking forward to going to bed. James fell asleep on the way home, and it was nice. We had some just one on one time with Teddy, um, but now Peter's upstairs putting him to sleep, and I'm editing. Um, and it feels good. It feels like a piece of myself. And we're so grateful for you guys for fundraising. And um, we're already more than halfway through day four. So I'll at least be doing this a few more nights. Um, but I mean, truly, it, it, it's looking like this will this will get us to our goal for springtime surprise. So thank you so much. It's really making, um, like I love editing. We love vlogging and, um, we do very much so miss it. And so it's just, it's cool to have a really great reason to, um, make ourselves do it right now. And, um, it's all thanks to you. So I am going to sign off just in case it's, um, it's necessary. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.